Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at these wireless headphones. The model is 6S. We'll first remove the packaging information here. Now let's take a look at some of the highlights printed on the side of the box. Let's see. It's a micro USB type of connection. Some of the other specs are pretty common. And on this side, all right, let's open this up. Here's the user manual. I'm gonna show some pages from it. These are the specs again. Wow. It's got a built-in FM radio. Then goes over in other languages. Before I get to the main unit, in the box I also had, we got a micro USB cable, pretty standard. They also got a 3.5 millimeter audio cable with, with audio cable has built in microphone. So I can use this with my smartphone, for example, or a computer. Now this did come with color, different color options. I got the black gold one. I think there's a, a, a red one and I think a blue one, I think it was. The headbands itself, it is adjustable on both sides. Good. It's got a synthetic leather type of feel to it. Very smooth. The outside over here, initially I thought it would be a fingerprint magnet since it was so smooth, but no, I don't even see my fingerprints on this. On the top, where the head rests. It's also got like a, a, a silicon type of feel to it. It's semi-soft. It's not as plush as some of my, my other ones. By the left ear cuff, a power, go forward a track, go back a track, multi-function button, play or answer phone calls. Oh, well, it looks like they also got the measurements here, too. On the right side, there's no buttons. And on the bottom of the left side, it's got the audio port. On this side, it's got the micro USB input. For the right side, let me close this up. On the right side, I don't see any ports. The audio quality on these headphones is just okay. Uh, for example, the multi-function button over here. In one of the cycles, it adds a little bit more bass and some of the other cycles, a little bit more treble. Earlier when I did the unboxing of it, I mentioned that this was not as plush. The headrest up here is not as plush. And I come to realize that there is a trade-off for that. When it's more plush, it is more comfortable but I also live in Jersey where it's very hot in the summer and very humid. And with that said, when it's more plush, I also notice I sweat more. The microphone audio quality is, no, I wouldn't use this for conference calls. I would not use this for Zoom calls. The, the microphone works. It's about on par as other Bluetooth microphones I reviewed in the past or the, the less expensive ones. So nothing about that stands out. The one thing I did not like was, I did not like, I don't like these, you hear that? These clicking buttons, because when I press in, like answer a call, the, the sound vibrates through this cuff. And same thing with any of these, whether I'm answering calls, trying to go back a track, forward a track, lower the vo volume. I use this when I'm watching video alone at night. But once school starts, I'll be giving this to my kids, so they'll bring this to school. 
That's because the audio cable, there's a built-in microphone to it. It'll work with their computer. They don't need high fidelity for their Zoom calls or their specialty labs. And it just folds up, fits in their backpack. This item is inexpensive. It's about, I think it's like $20 last I checked. For all the pros and cons I listed, see what's important for you and then decide whether or not you want to spend $20 on this headphone. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.